Hi, we're here with your cyclone up in the very front. This is gonna be a manual light here. Switch is on the back side. This switch here is gonna control the cap lights, LED lights on the very front. Uh, to control your leveling system from the outside, you're gonna push and hold up and down for three seconds. Then you're gonna get a green light. That means there's power at the panel here. Just up and down, you can just control the front legs. Auto level, you'll level your unit. And then hitchhike will bring the rear legs up and put the front legs back to the height you had it right before you hit auto level. Retract all after you connect to your truck. You hit retract all, it's gonna bring all your legs up. On the bottom compartment here, you're gonna have your generator. Generator, you're gonna wanna make sure your breakers are on and that you're not plugged in. And then you'll push and hold prime for about five seconds. Push start. If it don't, if it don't start within one, uh, two seconds, go ahead and push and hold prime. Make sure it gets all the way up there. 12 volt battery, as well as your hydraulic fluid in the tall compartment. Now we'll go around the driver's side. Driver's side. Right on the driver's side, you're gonna have your VIN, model, uh, tire pressure. First compartment door, driver's side is gonna be a, a, a 30 pound LP tank. You got two of them. Regulators gonna be on the passenger side. Pass through. Water connection, cable connections, um, little light here. Uh, outdoor shower, black tank, flush. So, water connection, just hook your water hose up here. If you wanna fill the tank on a unit, you're gonna turn it all the way to the left. Now, if you wanna use the water out of that tank, straight up. If you just want to use the water out of the water hose, go to City Fixtures, put it in winterization, point it down. Um, black tank, do not power up water to that this unless you're at a dump site and your valves are open. Otherwise, you're gonna um, it's gonna come right back out the bathroom. Cable input there. Gray tank, black tank from the front bathroom. Pulls. Your sewer outlet connection there for your front bathroom. Now this is gonna be for your rear bathroom connection. Um, your poles are right inside this door here. Black tank flush for the rear. The unleaded fluid, the, f the closest one to the front of the camper is gonna be for your generator. The farthest one's gonna be for your auxiliary. Your fill nozzle is gonna be in the compartment door here. The switch for it, be behind this door. 50 amp hookup. Uh, these are little vents on, in the back of your camper. You got one on the other side too. Back, the back door is a patio. It also has an awning. That's controlled from the inside in the garage, I'll show you. Um, you also have another air vent. You have three awnings on this unit. Your spray port output there. Exhaust gets extremely hot from your furnace. Careful, anything in front of it will burn. Outdoor entertainment. You got your TV, uh, light switch here, L, uh, your LP get grill. You just bring the hose down, hook it into the quick connect down underneath. That fridge will not work unless you are hooked to shore power. Your water heater. You pass through battery cutoffs right in the passenger front pass through here. Now you have your regulator with your other LP tank on the passenger front. So if you point it to the front of the camper, you're using the, uh, this LP tank on the passenger side. You point it to the rear of the camper, you're gonna use the driver side LP tank. Um, now we're gonna go inside your unit. The speakers are controlled from the radio on the inside in the garage. I'll show you. Going inside your unit. First things first, when it's all closed up, you won't be able to access in. The first thing you'll have to do is the slide out switch. will bring this, the big slide out. And that will allow you to walk through and go to your main panel. So all everything that is not labeled is light switches. Same with the garage, if it's not labeled, it's a light. Um, your wind guard's gonna be antenna on top. So the in-command system, it can do everything I'm, I'm showing you with switches and lights um, through the actual panel or app. You'll be able to use the leveler. You can start your generator, lights, 
panel, um, your awnings. You get you can basically do everything off the panel that I'm doing manually with switches. So we're gonna just turn all your lights on real quick. All lights on. You just hit home and hit all lights on. And that turns all the lights on in the camper. Except the ones that are manual. Now you're gonna have little tap lights like underneath your sinks or underneath your cabinets. It's gonna have a little button in the center of your tap light. You're just gonna push it. Um, slide. This is gonna be for the bed, for your master bed. Because the master bedroom has two side operations master bed, master bed frame. So when you're bringing that in, make sure this door stays open at all times. If this door is shut, the slide will smash it. Um, awning, that's going to be for the big awning. Um, the awning light here. So we'll start from the master bedroom, work our way back. Master bedroom has their own fireplace, as well as a uh, washer dryer hookup. TV inputs in the, in the cabinets there. It, it has its AC and AC head, control head unit. Um, right here. You just power, do um, just push it to to go to what you want to do. Cool furnace. A lot of people not right now have it on AC. Bathroom's pretty self-explanatory. Ain't gonna really tell you anything. GFI breakers right by the sink. Um, coming out of the master bedroom. The hall, the the light in the hallway. Above above the steps. That one is ma is manual, so if that one's on, you won't be able to turn it off by a phone or um, even when you close it all up. Best indicator if you have shore power is going to be in the microwave. If the microwave's lit up, you got shore power. Stove, you just get turned it over to the little flame here. Turn it over to the little flame, push and hold, and it'll ignite. Same with your oven. Your oven's electric, so you'll just turn it and it'll light up. It'll heat up. Keys are on your sink, your fridge. Fridge gonna you gotta just push power. Here's where you control. Oh, that's gonna be auto set. So let's get this. Okay, so right now it, we're connected to short power, so you can see the plug. Um, the drop is is for propane. So you leave it on this side, it's going to stay on auto. So as soon as you disconnect, it's going to go to propane. Now you push the button here, it's going to go to, you can pick only plug or only only propane. Push and hold, turn it off. Um, TV um, sound bar here is only for radio sound bar for this room. Um, the speakers outside are controlled in the garage, where we're going to walk to now. Going into the garage, or bunk room, either or, however you want to say. Here is the radio for outside as well as in here. Zone B is going to be outside, zone A is going to be inside. Just push and it will tell you on or off or on both on both fall. Awning, the one in the furthest back is going to control the one off the back porch. The one here is going to control the one off the side. Bed control, if you want the bed down. There's four little pins here. You have to pull at each corner. That's in between the couch and the bed. When the couch is all the way up to the top, because that that couch is gonna guide that bed down to about halfway. And then again, light switches means lights. Um, those will be also security lights. Power cord in the back. You do have the rear bathroom here. That's gonna complete our video. On the cycle.